They have to be heard. Muhammad Lakhbib is over the age of 70. Despite the fact that he is old, he was violently attacked by the Moroccan police. The reason was that he is for Western Saharan independence and the right of self-determination. Muhammad says, it's time for the EU to put an end to our suffering by stopping the illegitimate plundering of our natural resources. Fatimetu Dwar is from Western Sahara. She was jailed for 16 years in secret Moroccan prisons. She was kidnapped unlawfully by the Moroccan police at the age of 18. Fatimetu says that any in business involvement by EU companies, which includes Western Sahara, is the looting and exploitation of Sahrawi's natural resources. She says that this business involvement supports the military occupation of Morocco, which may result in the same tragic experiences involving the imprisonment and abduction of Sahrawi youth. Hatra Arm is 38 years old. She is from Western Sahara and a mother of five children. The Moroccan police attacked Hatra many times due to her political opinion. She says, although my land is rich with natural resources, such as phosphates, fish stocks, sands, and so on, I live in extreme poverty inside a very unpleasant house. Many Sahrawi families have no access to their natural resources, and my economic situation confirms that. Korea Hadi is 31 years old. She lives in El Ayun, the capital of Western Sahara, and is a mother of three. She says, My land is rich, but I have no income, and the Moroccan government systematically marginalized me as a Sahrawi indigenous person. Thari is a child from Western Sahara at the age of five. He is constantly frightened by the Moroccan police's attempts to break into his house. Thari is poor and has no good education. Any agreement between the EU and Morocco that includes Western Sahara is a promotion of the occupation and keeps him in his suffering. Mohamed Lakhbib, Hatra, Fatimetu and others are very aware that the EU is complicit in the human rights abuses by Morocco through its illegal economic investments and exploitation of the natural resources in Western Sahara. However, the Saharawis are determined to keep their peaceful resistance for one reason, and that is that they know there are many children, such as Hamdi, Hassana, and Thari, who shall also choose the path of peaceful resistance. <laughs>